Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm up here on Rainbow Mountain. It's time for a book review. The Water Knife by Palolo Bakagalupi. Dude, I can't really pronounce his name. It's super radical, but there he is. I want to get an eyeball on him. This book, Paige Turner. And I'm going to I'm going to agree with the uh with a little review up here in the corner, think Chinatown meets Mad Max. So it's it's a fictional account of the near future of the desert southwest, specifically Arizona, where water is the number one commodity. And I would preface this book by saying that you should probably read Cadillac Desert. It's, it's referenced a number of times in this book. And uh, Cadillac Desert is like kind of the definitive book about the desert southwest and the dam building and the situation with water down there. Basically, you have cities that, that shouldn't exist down there. Las Vegas, Phoenix. They just don't have really enough water and they're all dependent upon the Colorado River. So this is... As far as a, a fictional narrative goes, this is a great read. It is a great read. And um, I highly recommend it. It has a little bit of the, uh, the globalist agenda stashed out in, in it. I.e., you know, the global warming thing and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. But um, don't let that interfere with the read. Uh, it it has it has an interesting kind of thing going on about the relation ow, about the relationship with God and a, with, with the relationship of God and reality. But besides that, man, it is just an adventuresome page turning. Post apocalyptic. Ow, ow. No, no, don't hit the stop button, dude. Then it's then we gotta like regroup on the whole thing. Wait, is that you just wanted to see yourself? There you go. Look, there you are. Oh, handsome boy you are. So um it's well written and it's tight. It's a tight novel. Really gets the brain going, makes you start thinking about stuff because not even going to divulge the plot, except I'm going to say it's it's what I keep talking about. Like water needs to be what we base our whole economy and reality on. Water gives us life. Without water, we're doomed. And this book puts it into perspective because water is becomes a hot commodity, i.e. it becomes the central currency for what's what's going on in the uh in the dream and so it really brings to point some disturbing realities of what happens when the water starts to run low you know long term droughts the 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 adjustment of weather patterns and how that would affect a city and the people who live in the city where there is no more water, where water is, is reduced down to a trickle and outlying towns and cities have been forced to abandon themselves. It is really kind of, it is, it is Mad Max, man. It is Mad Max in Arizona with water. Instead of it being about gas and cars, it's about water. And it's, it's, it's a captivating novel. So on that level, man, not to linger too long, I highly recommend this book. And I'm calling it out now. This is going to get made into a movie. It, it movie, movie quality narrative in the sense of like, it's, it's, it's a no brainer. So this book was published in 2015. I'm calling, you're going to see it on the, uh, on the big screen at a movie theater getting hyped. At the beginning of 2018, man. It's it's that kind of a book, man. Guaranteed the rights have been sold to some, some studio. And 
Get this book and read it, dude. The Water Knife. And don't forget, if you're going to read this book, you should probably get Cadillac Desert, which is nonfiction. But it's an interesting read, too. If you want to inform yourself about the situation with the Colorado River and water in the desert southwest, Cadillac Desert. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hype that right there. So, um, The Water Knife by... Uh, Pololo ba ba Bakugalupi, dude. There you have it. Don't forget to subscribe. All sorts of other book reviews on this channel. And um, I need to go find a new book to read. It's the illusion. Out. Keep the frequency high. And remember, without water, we've got nothing.